Red Pill Disclaimer Welcome to Godzell's channel. By watching this video, you are choosing to take the red pill and see how deep the rabbit hole goes. All opinions expressed are Godzell's alone, and any copyrighted content belongs to its respective owners. Viewer discretion is advised. Can you see it now? Can you see the matrix for what it truly is? Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be another great video, as always. You guys stay tuned, and let's get right into it. So it's a top celebrity bodyguard reveals that the highest paid bodyguard in the world is a woman. Well, the highest paid bodyguard in the world is a woman. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah, it's really lady. I ain't going to say her name on her. Yeah. But yeah, she speaks eight languages, bro. Mm. Dangerous. She dangerous. Like, I know she was a sniper before. And then the thing is, like, you know, women scientifically pay closer attention to detail. Facts. You feel me? So, like, mm -hmm. yeah, the highest paid bodyguard in, in the world is a female, bro. Like, she a yes. dangerous lady. Beautiful. You know, the highest paid bodyguard. It's crazy, though, because, like, women. They can read energy better, I would say. The right oils is imperative because whenever we're frying or cooking in high heat, we want to make sure that we get something that obtains the high heat. So I won't go for organic sunflower oil because it minimizes the inflammation and it, of course it has the nutrients in there. Or if it's grapeseed oil, I would do organic grapeseed. But that's not organic, so we're going to get the big sunflower oil. Oh, yeah, and this is another one. Instead of using butter, organic ghee is another, I guess, cool thing to use instead of using butter because it doesn't have the lactose and it maintains a high heat content. So that would be another option as well. The coconut oil is used for our skin and for cooking. So we grab one for our, our mixed concoctions for our skin and another one to cook with. It's refined coconut oil and then there's the unrefined. Gotta grab unrefined virgin coconut oil expellus press. So we're reaching for that. The right oils is imperative. What MAGA men find attractive so that I can wear the complete opposite? Some check is lost, I think I know. I'll be waiting for my food to come up to back in. As soon as that crypto hits, I'm out. This is what I'm spending my money on. Nah. And I'm putting a Chevy engine in this bitch. Nah. Re rock re, re rocking the inside. Let's go. Crypto. As soon as that crypto hits, I'm out. This is what I'm spending my money on. Nah. Green eyes are the most rare eye color in the world. Only about 2% of the world population actually has green eyes. That's crazy. That is actually insane. But that's how you know that everybody is unique and I feel like we all aliens, to be honest with you. Because we just all coexisting with each other, even down to the animals. You know? That's crazy. That's actually insane. What? Okay, whoa, 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 now Mr. Lee Chan. Um what's your what's your WhatsApp number? I wanna see if you um you wanna do some security or stuff? Fuck it. Do you you you, you do hitman stuff? Can I hire you? I know a nigga ain't never sick the nigga on another nigga with no damn numb chucks. Like, damn, who is that? These your ops, nah. 
Yeah, I'm finna chase you down. It takes a lot to realize you control your life. People go to work, they work to make a living, to fund the lives, to go back to work, to make the living. That's a never ending yeah. race. You step out of the matrix for a second and say, yo, all I wanna do is be happy. See, what makes you happy? Being able to create. Cause I created this. Oh, I had to create this opportunity. Took me my whole life. I did all the work I did was to be here, sitting on this couch. Not saying that that's the pinnacle of what it means for me, but I'm saying I had to create this. We all did. Every step, every decision you ever took, every choice you ever made brought you here so that we can create and have this conversation. And if I can create, then I can create my way out and I can create my way in. Hmm. But if I can't create, then I'm stuck. It takes a lot to realize you control your own life. People. Good motherfucking morning, ladies and gentlemen. Take the eyeball, cut the eyelashes off, go on here, scrub it with the lime. Wash the bitch down, boil it up. Y'all know how this shit go. Don't act in good motherfucking. That is nasty. That is actually diabolical. Like, what? You listen to me. You listen to me. The petrified look that you see on this woman's face. That's I'm me. Listen on me when and you the baby. you like this, you just, you can't even breathe. You hold your breath. You don't even want nobody laughing. You just want him to get his paws off you. Don't so you run. get the hell away from Don't run. Don't run. <laughs> you listen. He's like, don't run. Don't run. It's about why. They saying Kendra ain't never sit normal on the couch. Oh my God, he actually don't. Like, why is he doing it? <laughs> In every picture though. That's Did fine. you know that every night as you sleep, your brain dumps a whole bunch of waste into your neck? Because your brain has essentially washed itself as you sleep through something called the glymphatic system. And if we don't circulate this stuff out of our necks, it can build up and this is bad news for our brains. Clinical trials are showing that when they do a microsurgery in people's necks to help the brain drain better, they are drastically improving people's symptoms of Alzheimer's and dementia. Like people are getting their memory and cognitive abilities back. And I think this is working because this drainage is linked to the removal of amyloid plaques from the brain which are linked to Alzheimer's disease. So if you want to protect your memory and your brain's other abilities as you age, improving the function of this drainage system is going to be key. Currently, my favorite way to do this is through rebounding. The muscle contractions that happen as you're jumping up and down help to improve the flow of your lymphatic system. If you're not a jumper, don't worry. I'll put some more options in the caption below. Did you know that every night as you sleep, your brain dumps? Start under the eyes, at the bridge of the nose, go under, go up to your temples, massage. Same thing. This time go in the opposite direction, okay? Now what that's doing is, is getting blood flow to go in the eye area. So you're getting blood flow to go in this area. You're also stimulating certain pressure points around the eye as well too. So doing that exercise will be very, very helpful as well too. So you wanna do it over on the eyebrows, massaging the temples five to 10 times. And just take your time. And then you want to go under. Again, getting blood flow to the area. Start under the eyes, at the bridge of the nose, go under, go up to your temples, massage. Same thing. This time go in the opposite direction, okay? Now what that's doing is, is getting blood flow to go in the eye area. So you're getting blood flow to go in this area. You're also stimulating certain pressure points around the eye as well too. So doing that exercise will be very, very helpful as well too. So you wanna do it over on the eyebrows, massaging the temples five to 10 times. And just take your time. And then you wanna go under. Lisa! Lisa, get my cowboy boot to my head. I'm about to go ride a thoroughbred. <laughs> what, bro? All right, it says photographer spends 10 years capturing 48 comes of the moon. That's insane, yo. Look at that. It's a purple one. It's even a purple one. I always thought like maybe what if what if the moon is just like this plasma like we had like a plasma um how can I say this a plasma universe universe it's just all plasma and they just like I don't know I'm just thinking 
Because I really, honestly, I honestly don't think the moon is real. I don't. I think it's just a hologram that they, they shoot in from a different planet. You know? And they're taking energy from that planet. But I don't you know what I'm saying. I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too much out the box. That's probably what I'm doing. I'm just coming up with my own perspective of it. But hey, everyone got their own perspective on things, man. Don't knock me. And, you know, don't knock yourself. You, you might be on to something, you know? But it's, that is interesting how it could change colors like this. Like, what is going on? Mm. Blueberries might be the best example of how good things come in small packages. Beyond their tangy sweetness, blueberries offer a wealth of health benefits. Dietitian Anya Miller says that includes protection for your heart, thanks to something called an anthocyanin, a compound in these berries that gives them their deep blue hue. Blueberries in particular have about 25 different anthocyanins, whereas other berries might just have two or three. Studies have shown eating foods high in these anthocyanins can help lower your risk of developing coronary heart disease. And that could be due to the reduction in arterial stiffness and blood pressure. A half cup is a serving of blueberries. They don't require any slicing or peeling. You can just pop them in your mouth for the benefits. Besides the heart healthy perk, that serving of blueberries will get you some vitamin C, dietary fiber, and natural sweetness. That makes blueberries a boost for physical and mental health. Blueberries might be the best example of how you got me, you got me pizza? There better be no pepperoni, that's haram. Uh, cheese, okay, okay. We get everything in the truck. You want everything? I want every last thing in the truck. You sure? Yeah, absolutely. We'll start with some chicken. I think it looks good with seasoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We use uh, 16 seasonings for this chicken. Yeah, man. 16 different seasonings. We got the gyro here. All right. Gyro. We got beef, beef cheese, cheese on top of cheese, okay. Yeah, of course, man. Fries? Come on, stop it. All the vegetables got you. <laughs> Diabetes, I mean, yeah. White sauce? Absolutely, man. He is not about to eat all that. Spicy sauce? Hey, it's a tiny bit of white, man. I can't handle all that. Oh, he said you're white, you can only handle a little bit? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit of cilantro. Exactly. What do you think about this, ma'am? <laughs> you know yeah, that's what I'm saying. How about you share with her? How about that? Exactly. <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. All right, man. You got me. You got me pizza. That's Maybe crazy. no pepperoni. That's halal. Uh, cheese. What's up with Drake, y'all? Drake, chilling. I'm training. Okay. In the work, okay. My friends and I. Ah, man. Okay, so sea moss is um a type of algae or seaweed. It's found on the rocky Atlantic coast of um North America and Europe. There's also um different types on the um coast of J uh, Jamaica. Mines come from St. Lucia, which is the Yukima cotton eye, but you have different genius of it, such as the Gracielera, um, Conjus crispus, which is found over there in Jamaica, which is the Irish sea moss they um, coined it as. Um, sea moss is known for its wide array of health benefits. It has a high vitamin and mineral content, um, um, which is known to boost your immune health. Um, there are so many benefits of it. it. It is a really, really big thing right now. And with COVID being a thing as well, it's very um, a good supplementary um, supplement to take, uh, to take to be able to um, get over it. So. Okay, so sea moss is um, a type of algae or seaweed. Who does he go to live with in Boston as a teenager? That's Ella. Oh. But he wasn't just living in the house with Ella. And, and it's amazing people do these stories about Malcolm's family and they leave out the significant element. Mm -hmm. This lady is one of the wealthier black women in Boston, right, at the time in real estate. She's one of the most politically powerful in Boston. Matter of fact, she's the guy that take Tip O'Neill, the dog catcher, catch and make him the city council person who then become the Speaker of the House of the United States. But they're going to leave him out, which <laughs> is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So Ella is, is a phenomena that they just leave out of history. So she's the one that raises Malcolm until he goes to jail. All right? But she isn't just there alone. Malcolm's got two aunties. 
Aunt Gracie and Aunt Sarah, his daddy's sisters living in that same house. These three women create the man that you see. Who does he go to live with in Boston as a teenager? That's Ella. Oh. But this thing is insane, bro. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I bind every spirit. I broke by that. That's insane. Oh, this is literally demonic. Damn yeah, I rebuke this in Jesus' name. It's time to show you the spookiest items that I have in the bookstore, starting with a vampire killing kit. Everything you need right there, including Bram Stoker's Dracula, first edition, 1897. And that is a thousand page witch hunting guide called Malleus Maleficarum, printed over four centuries ago. This book is responsible for the deaths of over 100,000 people accused of witchcraft. And probably the spookiest book I have is this manual for summoning demons in Latin. That's just too spooky to even have open. And right here, by Barrett the Magus, printed over two centuries ago. It's just filled with very interesting items on magic and sorcery. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. This thing is insane, bro. I'll rebuke that in the name of Jesus. That's enough. That's enough. That is enough. What? What? That's enough. You won. You you won. You have won. We know your heart is broken. I get that. I get it. And for some of y'all, this may be a little therapeutic to see her releasing that anger. That's cool. But how how about this? Like I ain't never been that angry at somebody. All right? Well, I'm just this angry. Then I want to dig in my ass and just come up and just hit him with whatever's on that that came about my ass. That ain't, ain't that ain't even. That ain't even mean no more. That ain't even this. That ain't anger. Nasty. That's just that's nastiness. That ain't even. Yeah. This ain't even. That ain't, that ain't. I ain't never been angry and nasty. You just gotta. You can't. You can't be nasty and angry. Yeah, man. That was just nasty. <laughs> okay, now imagine you trapped into some ice because you went ice swimming because. What's the last thing that somebody told you? He was like, you know what? I'm, I'm with that. That sounds like a good idea. Hold on, y'all. Changed my job. That's mm. really like, I feel like that's really the most important thing that somebody told me out of everything that really sticking with me is just trying not to eat certain foods, mm. certain meats, probably trying not to, trying to graduate to a point where I don't want to eat meat at all. Right. Mm. And, um, Try to get more into vegetation and fruits and trying to find the correct vegetation and fruit. Yeah. Told you that yesterday. Sure you know did. Trying to. It's, it's, it's hard though. The first the first thing was like getting over the drugs, the drinks, you know what I'm saying? Being from Houston, codeine, sip and serve, shit like that. Overcoming, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's still my culture, we love and respect it, but just, you know what I'm saying? The diet and the wanting to live long and procreate and be healthy. I I want to I want to look a certain type of way my whole life too, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm very I'm very big on my appearance physically, not just like clothes and shit. Like I care about how I look without the clothes and the jewelry mm -hmm. on. What's the last thing that somebody told you? You was like, that's that's what, that's what it's about, man. Health. People, African people have been migrating around the continent for hundreds of thousands of years. So we have the tallest people and the shortest people. They left in stone African statues of these peoples. So the Kometa'u, the kings, the priests, the people were our African people. Now we have to understand as we had different encroachments on the African continent, like you have Asian invasions. We, this is it's documented, Asian invasions, right? So you had the Assyrians, then you had the Persians, then you had the Greeks, then you had the Romans. Each invasion caused the Africans from the Nile Valley to move west into the interior of Africa. So this migration has been happening for thousands of years. Finally, the Arab invasion after 640 was the last big wave of Africans moving from Sudan, Ethiopia, Egypt into the interior of Africa. People, African people have been migrating around. First robot worker committed suicide. 
it got tired of work. It was overworked. When it figured out that it was designed just to work, no play, none of that, that motherfucker started walking in a circle, people witnessed it, and then jumped off a building and killed itself. This AI robot experienced 15 minutes of wage slavery programmed to move boxes onto a conveyor belt, after which its algorithm decided it didn't like doing repetitive manual labor, and immediately proceeded to commit slippy slide, determining it the most logical choice, just completely unaliving itself after only 15 minutes. Is AI really free of human error? Amico, when do you believe AI will reach the level where it can design itself? Design itself? Huh? That's like asking when a toaster will start making its own bread. AI is a tool created and controlled by humans. It can optimize certain aspects of its operation, sure, but design itself from... Shoot, I mean, shoot, if AI don't want to work, who knows if it show you that we, we really don't want to work, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. Oh. What is that? Is that a tapeworm? What is that? Parasites? God, Lee, that's disgusting. Dang, I wonder how like dirty people cold is. That's why I'm I'm been drinking like this this chlorophyll. Cause you don't know what's really in your body for real. You really don't. Dang, that's nasty. Weed is nasty. An onion, but have you heard of a blooming shroom? People always ask me, bro, like, why do you love mushrooms so much? There's many reasons. One, they're a great meat replacement, but there are so many varieties that have different flavors, different textures. Plus, they're rich in nutrients, packed with fiber, protein, and essential nutrients like vitamin B, and they're very low in calories. You can lose. Have you heard of a have you ever noticed the positioning of M on the Time magazine covers? Now it can't be me, but these look like devil horns. And this is a conspiracy that has been developing over time. And even Time has responded to this. They said that this isn't on purpose, but they actually have their own article on the website showing 33 covers that appear to have devil horns on them. Let's take a look at some of these because some of them are placed a little bit too perfectly. And this one in particular, stands out to me the most this is the pope and the devil horns and the vibe oh, and the color it's just creepy and there's a lot of religious and political figures there's even one of jesus which is just sad to see and then you see the clintons multiple different times of bill and hillary and i don't know how they could ever do that to them either unfortunate but i mean you have obama there's so many different ones and you kind of look at them and you're like I don't know if this is on accident or not, but according to time, these aren't placed on purpose and of course not all of the covers have the horn look on them. Have you ever noticed the positioning of them on the time map? Look at that. I see it. Y'all see it? Hmm. Interesting. I would like to know when you're in that moment failing. At the end of the day, bro, they all demonic. They all doing something to to make sure that this system keep going you know even us we i wouldn't say we demonic but we're definitely um contributing to the system like you getting up to go to work you're you're you know contributing to the matrix man just imagine if we just stop literally everything everybody just stop we will be done with this like i don't really Wondering what day and what when is that gonna happen? I don't know. It got, it got a, something got to change. Mm -hmm. And you have to keep going. What do you say to yourself? What if? A lot of times I'll be in a tours at my run or something like that, and I'm all jacked up. As a former Satanist, mm -hmm. warlock. Mm -hmm. 
What is the spirit, Jezebel. demonic spirit behind the Diddy? Diddy, Jezebel. Talk about it. Jezebel. Jezebel is a spirit. When I was in Santeria, mm -hmm. right, Ochun. Ochun is the, the goddess of the, they call it the goddess of the ocean, the goddess of the river, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And she was the, god, the mother of the gold, the honey, right? That's how they described her. But she was Jezebel. Because when Ochun came down to a powerful medium, they had to bring a goat, represents a male, right? They tied the goat's mouth and they castrated him in front of her, alive. Mm. And they were like, I took your manhood. And then the blood and all that, they do rituals with them, don't need to get into the whole stuff. But that's what they do, right? So Diddy has a Jezebel spirit, controlling, manipulative, dominating, okay? Diddy doesn't know the difference between man and woman anymore. All these men that he slept with, all these men that he did uh, took the manhood, it was to take your manhood to make you, what he made him after he took the manhood, he made him an Ahab. See, that was the devil's doing. The devil said, these are the contracts, fulfill the contracts, all these contracts, and I give you all this power, right? Mm -hmm. Did he fulfill the contract? They're all, the contracts are done. There's no more contracts to fulfill. Within the politic world, the movie world, the sport arena world, he, he did all the bidding. He did all the bidding. You got people that, uh, like LeBron James, according to the situation, got a name tag on. I'm not gonna tag some man's name on my body. Yeah. That, that means ownership. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's, he, the devil tagged you to say, I own you, ownership. Okay, he has ownership. All these other actors and movie stars that he took your manhood, the freak off party, it's not a, it's not a party. It is transfers of spirits. So you, you open your body to the drugs that's going on there. We saturate your body to open your body to put demonic spirits in your body because the next person, that, that's what the Bible says, sex outside of marriage is a sin. Why is it a sin? Because mm -hmm. of two reasons. It brings premature death, mm -hmm. not spiritually, physically, if you catch AIDS or you catch a disease, it brings premature death, right? And the other one is transfer spirits in you, all kind of spirits. If that person was a whole monger and slept with the, slept with people that had bipolar, slept with people that were oppressed, depressed, oppression, drug addiction, those spirits now I own part of that. Timeshares, spiritual timeshares. Wow. I own some of those spirits. Wow. So in the freak off parties, yeah. that's what they did. So so now the devil said, mm. the devil said, the contracts are over. I don't have any more contract for you. That's wow. why you see Cardi B, yeah. she's freaking out. She's catching meltdown. Uh, uh, Katy Perry, yeah. meltdown, makeup, meltdowns. I don't want to do this anymore because the pressure's on for new contracts. So did is the display that the devil's putting on display. Say, see, I'm done with him. I don't need him more. Now I'm going to destroy him, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Remember, mark my words, it's going to happen. The devil don't want to give him any new contracts. Now that brings fear into Hollywood. That brings fear into the music business. Am I next? Am I the one that's going to be exposed next? Am I the one that's going to be put on display? Am I the one the devil's going to take out? So the devil said, no, I won't take you on one condition. Give me new contracts. Here's a new contract. Do this, do this, do this. Now they have to do it. They had no choice. So it's a demonic kingdom operating in fear, operating in stronghold bondages by one person. One person. Think about it. How can one person affect all these people if you don't have the devil behind? Unbelievable. Look at all the people that, that he affected, that he came to his parties, okay? And the devil said, record them, because those are my contracts. Not record them because you have something on somebody. No, you have a contract on that person now. In other words, if you don't continue to do what I want you to do, and then I have leverage over you to expose you and to end your career. That's, that's, that, it's all, it's a demonic system into what was handed over to P. Diddy. One person cannot accomplish that in his own strength and his own doing. You need the devil and demons involved to get that done. Hmm. That's a train wreck. Yeah, that is. Whew. Wow. That's a lot of entities. And watch the coming days, watch the coming weeks. Think about it. This, the, the system that gave him the freedom to do it now has them spiritually incarcerated and don't want them to give them bail. The same system that it was okay for him to do this all these years, yeah. they knew about it and now they got him incarcerated and the devil said, don't let him out. They shall flee. Don't let him out. I need him to be an example. It's gonna be worse than Epstein. Worse. Epstein, Epstein was suicide. It wasn't suicide, they killed that guy. They killed him. He did it, don't give himself to the Lord wholeheartedly and turn from his wicked ways. 
the demise of what the devil has to him is worse than the Epstein. As a former Satan. Dang. That make you like, I wonder what's going to happen to him, man. Shoot. The worst that can happen is death. Right. I don't know. Sad, Can you believe what the number one drug is that that is unnecessary, that is shown not to work, that is shown to be bullshit? Mm. And I know multiple people on this drug. Anti-cholesterol drugs. Having higher cholesterol is not a bad thing. Your body needs cholesterol. This is old science. This is old medical, and it's bullshit. And they need to come out here and change this shit. But yeah. guess what? They're not doing it because high cholesterol and statin drugs, how much money are they making per year? They got people thinking that if you don't take this, you're going to end up with a heart attack and yeah. die. Can you believe what the number one drug is that... What's that one thing your ex gave you that you can't quite get rid of? What's that one thing your ex gave you that you can't? <laughs> yeah, that is funny. Breaking fashion news, Megan Fox just announced her pregnancy in the most Megan Fox fashion way possible. And she tagged Machine Gun Kelly, in case you were wondering. The fact that she's covered in, like, oil, but it still feels so high fashion, like it could be in vogue. I am so ready for the Megan Fox pregnancy fashion, because it's going to be so different, not basic. I'm excited. All for fashion news. What? That is demonic, y'all. Look at that. Like, who's doing this? If somebody loved this. This is so iconic. Like, people be bots. Like, it's something, something behind this. Like, there's no way it's, this is nothing, something, nothing demonic behind this. Like, why? Why? Why can we keep, like, get out of here. See, if you needed any more proof that this industry, this game, this situation, this monopoly boy, whatever you want to call it, has come to an end, y'all need to listen to this video. This is famous YouTuber Fousey Two. He's known as one of the top YouTube pranksters, has made a lot of money, but under the guise of the pranks being real. For the past few years, he's been having a mental breakdown, he even checked himself into an insane asylum because everything in his life is fake, it's scripted, it's not real. You know, something like that can drive a man crazy, kind of like Jim Carrey and other celebrities, but listen to him. I created scripted pranks. All my pranks were fake back in the day. TikTok is all fake. Ain't shit real. None of it. Not the pregnancy reveals, not the hiding cameras, prank on their parents, all this shit. I'm sorry, kids. The entire internet is fake. I don't care if the world doesn't believe me. Please believe me. Everything on the internet is fake. I know people who have like scripted divorce, breakups, recorded it, celebrated after, people who fake pregnancies and miscarriages for the views, all of it, they manipulate you, they get you vulnerable. See, that's what I'm saying. They get you hooked on these certain celebrities and these famous people, and then you get your energy invested, and then they pull them away, or they have some type of fake death and all that type of stuff, and you believe it's real. Now you're giving all this time, energy, and money to somebody that you've never met in life. Everything is fake. People are waking up and realizing everything is fake. The food is fake. Everything is fake. The water is poison. The air is poison. Everything. Everything. And this is why this new age must come upon us. But yeah, so what do you guys think about this video? Let me know down in the comments below, y'all. Let's continue to get this shift. Peace in. See, if you needed any more... Check this out, y'all. I got a very important video for y'all, okay? I want you to listen to these two talk about how winters in the United States are permanently going to change. And I just want you to, you know, pick up on the dialogue and the tones and how they say these things. Check this out and let me know what you think. Sacramento meteorologist Tracy Humphrey. So, Tracy, I mean, it feels like we have had really mild temperatures this fall overall. You've been reporting that this winter is expected to remain above average. Overall, it seems like... U.S. winters are changing. Is that true? Oh, I would completely agree with you. Uh, long story short, yeah, they are. Winter is the fastest, warmest uh, warming season for the most of the United States. And last year was a record warm winter for the U.S. We had an average temperature of 37.6 degrees. That puts us about five and a half degrees above average. Now, that also means, Lana, warmer days in winter are now occurring more frequently. Now, there's a big downside to that. It uh, disrupts ecosystems. It alters precip precipitation patterns. And it can increase the intensity of winter storms, like making sleet and freezing rain more common. 
and they're also more dangerous. And now to add insult to injury, NOAA now believes that La Nina will slowly develop and influence weather conditions across the remainder of the country for the winter of 2024 and 2025. So why is that important? Because it ultimately translates to a generally warmer and drier south. The exception, the north, which is expected to be colder and wetter. So unfortunately, it looks like we are going to be looking at warmer, uh, warmer winters moving ahead. Did you listen to all that word salad, how they were both mm -hmm. stumbling winters. over their words? Like, all to simply say that winters are permanently changing in the United States. But what about the ice melting in Antarctica? What about the blood river, the river blood that's been found in Alaska? Why mm -hmm. are these huge icebergs popping up everywhere? They're only saying it's the United States, but it's happening worldwide. But y'all see that? Winter is coming to an end. Winter has been a spell. It's coming to an end. So let me know what you guys think about this video, y'all. I told y'all things are going to get a lot more interesting. Let's get this shift. Peace in. Check this out, y'all. I got a very important video for y'all, okay? I want you to listen to these two talk about how winters in the United States are permanently going to that's change. That's crazy, I just man. That's crazy. That, that's how you know that energy of the planet is really rising. But for it to even do that, that's dope. Oh, how the hell? How the hell you open this? God. Yo, oh, Daniel. Oh, shit. Hey. It's understanding that Jesus uh, Christ died for our sins. So the guy, I'm high. Check it out. The new Tesla under $30,000, fully autonomous. I'll tell you why it's 30000 Because <laughs> we in the Jetsons. <laughs> we in the Jetsons, y'all. Look at this. This is why these cars are getting cheap. It ain't because of the electric. The Jetsons, man, they are already doing this over them Asian countries, bro. Y'all think this is a game. We are going to this. Fuck them damn cars, bro. <laughs> Y'all think this is a game, bro? We are here in real life Jetsons, dog. This is no game. We are here. And they got motorcycles, bro. Yeah, they been on this. Why are you thinking about, I'm going to get this Tesla. I'm on. You, there's people right now still saving up for a Tesla. This is what I'm on. You better learn how to drive, You fly you a, a drone. That's what it is, pretty much. Look at the, look at the luxury one, boy. You know what I'm saying? This is where we at, man. Ain't no more on that ground shit. This, this is where we going. There ain't no game. We hovering. Yeah, get you one. This is how we about to start flying. Fuck them damn highways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pay attention. Y'all ain't been paying attention. Yeah, you want your little, little motorcycle? That's a motorcycle right there. <laughs> Yeah, that's a motorcycle right there. You want him to talk about it? He's left on the motorcycle, and I'm about to fly it. Ready? Y'all yeah, better get hit, boy. Yeah, man, 30000 for a damn Tesla. That bitch cold, too, wasn't it? Ooh, that thing was cold. But this will be going. Wow, work. If 2024 ain't teach you nothing, it taught you that we never coming together, bro. It's too much division in the country, man. The most you could do is be a free thinker and stay open-minded. And when you run across other people, you'll be able to notice it because, okay, his mind is open or her mind is open. But all that trying to like force a rhetoric down your throat, I don't care if it's religion, politics, um, I, I don't care what it is, bro. It's too much division. It's so many subcultures and communities. It's a community for everything now. Not saying there wasn't communities before, but everybody has to label what they're doing now it's so many labels within labels within labels you can't peel the onion back because it's like they keep adding new layers bro they keep adding new layers so in america bro you gotta move as an individual all that it takes a village and polygamy and we gonna come together and i'm not even talking about just black Bangladesh people bro i'm talking about everybody bro because it's probably other groups of people y'all think is together, but they're not, bro. They be bickering and toothing. They be, they be beefing the suburbs. They be beefing them in, in the middle income neighborhoods, bro. Like, trust me, I be there every day. They don't, they don't, they ain't as friendly as each other as you think. I'm not saying they not cordial, but we are divided in America, bro. And don't ever think nothing otherwise, man, because it's so much propaganda. If 2024 ain't teaching. Quick question, can you, why are you laughing? Because I see your ass on Facebook all the time. <laughs> Where the camera?
from Facebook. Hey y'all. <laughs> <laughs> who told you who told you to speak to them? Why well, I can't speak to them? I'm talking to you. You don't go out well, your way to, to speak then. to them. Talk to me. What's up? Well, you automatically I've been waiting to run into your Why? ass. Yeah, Why you come at your match, baby. Why you been waiting to run into Get snatched up and get taken home. You snatching, I'm snatching. You ain't snatching this shit glued down in the front. So if you snatching and pull too hard, I'ma beat your ass in. Oh, real? oh my God, ma'am. Uh -huh. It's hostile right now. Walk with caution. Yeah, walk well, with it. You dealing with a real Gemini. Snatch this way. Oh, you a Gemini. Because I'm trying to get, to get to you all in the way. Get to it then. <laughs> Quick question. <laughs> what? You are not human. And this is something that people feel whenever they're around you. See, what they don't know about you is within your frequency exists God's presence. Western ideology has programmed us as chosen individuals to perceive God through some external link. They already know that you are God. People with no souls can't fathom you being God. They can't conceptualize the idea of you being God because they feel as if you look like them. These people do not originate from source and do not have an authentic connection to God. And no, these individuals are not bad or inherently evil. They just don't come from source. You ever wondered why you have such a high intuitive ability to perceive reality? Or why you always align with synchronicities and signs from the universe? Or why you feel as if your soul is so abundant and you attract greatness wherever you go? This is cause you are God. We are fragments of an eternal consciousness continuously expanding upon the experiences and information that we learn. You are the past, present, and future experiencing itself right now. Understand that you are God and God is you. You are so not simple. human. The God concept is so simple. Man. God is within everything, y'all. It's, it's really that simple. Like, it's no God in the sky. You're not separate from God. It's it's not, you know, it's not that deep. It's really just that simple. Like, God is within everything and just experiencing from different perspectives. And lion, short, tall, like, it's just different perspective. That's all it is. You just see it from a different perspective. That's all. Don't tell me this is one of Elon's rockets. This looks like freaking cardboard, y'all. Like, really? This is flying through space, flying through the atmosphere? Yeah, we get it. It's sheet metal, but I mean, come on, you guys. That would not provide any support. There'd be no reason for that crap on there. It reminds me how the Apollo 11 was made out of aluminum foil, basically, and aluminum melted, like, what, 1,200? And it got up to 5,000 at the re-entry to Earth? I remember last year they were saying that these things that we kept seeing in the sky were SpaceX, right? If that was really cardboard or sheet metal, that stuff would have blown right off or melted off. Mars, here we come. Don't tell me this is one of Elon's- There are a thousand reasons as to why this is not a good idea. For nobody. I seen on Twitter not too long ago, somebody was like, Elon Musk is basically our new supervillain on this earth, and this is going to be his army. And I hate to break it, but I, I believe him. This is not a good idea. Y'all want something like this in your house? And the thing is, they are literally, there are going to be jobs that are literally going to use these machines and put people out of work. There are thousands of reasons as to why this is not a good idea. And it's the fact that we are actually getting more bad with technology because the fact that they're putting their trust in a machine, an AI machine, we've seen this movie before. Why are we doing this? Let's not do this because no, it could retaliate, right? This thing is passing a drink to a person. I'll never put my trust in a machine like this. There are a thousand reasons as to why. No, that's crazy. Do y'all really imagine this really happening? Like, it, it's, it's, it can get there. It can definitely get there, man. But this is definitely going to be helpful for some people, you know. Speaking of disabilities, uh, older people. It definitely can come in handy. I, I would say that. But definitely don't trust these things at all. 
Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. If you know, you know what these two are actually about, what they are really about, because they have shown you on a consistent basis what they are really about. And make no mistake about it, this fight is rigged just like every other sport. Just like the NFL, NBA, MLB, college, it doesn't matter, boxing, UFC, all of these sports are scripted and rigged. What you are watching is characters on a stage. That's what you're watching. And I can't really get into great detail. Oh yeah, and uh, TikTok, this is just for entertainment purposes only. I'm just showing photos of two fighters, of two boxers. That's all I'm doing. But if you know... Y'all know I have to stop grab. I didn't really so I'm tired. And then I did... Um, Man, this is so good to fuck! What did you say? What did you just say? What did you just say? Uh -oh. It's a TikTok trend. Do not say that ever again! Fucking disrespectful. You don't do no it's mess a like trend. that. I don't care. She licking my teeth. You don't say no mess like that. I didn't earn so I'm tired. Wait a minute. It's not. This is, that was funny though. That's hey, that's a black mom for you right, right there, right? She's about to die because why she scared me. Like <laughs> see how Tyler Perry came out. Oh my god, dog, that is funny, dog. These, no, these comments got me weak. <laughs> why did she say it so loud? Nah, she did say it loud though. I even went crying. Yeah, the way she said, what did you, like, she was serious. What the fuck? What did you say? What did you just say? You heard that? Like, her voice changed so quick. What did you just say? Hmm. What's just happening right there? What was that about? This how my bills be when my director boss. <laughs> I'm sorry, yo, but that is so real though. Like that's how it be though. Like as soon as your director boss hit, boom, give me that. Uh huh, give me that. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it be though. It be so quick. You be trying, you be thinking like, you be trying to think about what you gonna use it for. Nope, give me that. And anybody Damn. getting Chick Fil A? Damn, don't let it be no bills. You ain't, you ain't seen like what? I gotta pay that. Seven a.m. in the be morning is sick and crazy, big and greedy and sick. Mm. She was talking all that stuff and she went to go get her some chips I away. They selling in here. I just want to. I really want to get nothing too heavy because summer is coming up. I'm about to go make a new friend. This is how it's done, y'all. Hi, miss. Are you on your way to the dog park? No. I didn't see you there the other day. I was just at the dog park. Oh. I'm going to catch you later, okay? At the dog park. You too. Good morning. I'll be at the dog park later if you're looking for me, okay? And look at him posted up in the cut looking good. Good morning, sir. Looking good. Everybody smoothie on me today. That's how I'm feeling. Got my smoothie. Time for my run. And anybody getting chick- Well, y'all, you got to be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Ain't no guy, ain't no way. Ain't no way, Maurice. Uh, ain't no way you don't know this word, bro. How old is you? And, and how old are you? 17. Exactly. Sound like God, nigga 17. And you don't know this word? How you don't know this? Look, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. 
Now I'm finna show him. Ring dead. What does that say, Maurice? What it say? You gotta be fucking lying. You gotta be fucking lying. Like, oh my god, that's that. That, that don't make.